Hello guys, this is Ravens from DJ Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 59. Amazon Fire TV Cube has been launched in India. The streaming device supports Dolby Vision HDR, HDR10+, Dolby Atmos and can play 4K playback as well. Amazon Fire TV Cube price in India at rupees 12999. Amazon's latest brick and mortar experiment is unexpectedly an hair salon. The company is opening its Amazon salon in London's East End area where it says it will trial the latest industry technology. This includes an augmented reality app that lets customers can see what different hairstyles and colors look like on them before they decide on a change. Acer Predator Helio 300 gets up to an Intel Core i7 CPU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics. It features a 144Hz display, 3D surround sound, fast Wi-Fi 6 with reduced latency and more. The laptop starts in India at Rs. 1,19,999. Acer has launched the new laptop Acer Spin 7 is the first laptop in India to feature the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 2 laptop processor. It gets 5G connectivity along with Windows 10 and a 14 inch touch screen and a backlit keyboard. SKUs of the Acer Spin 7 are priced from rupees 1,34,999 Indian rupees in India and should be available from today. Oppo has confirmed the launch of its latest mid-range smartphone the Oppo K9 in the K series in China on May 6th which is the successor of Oppo K7 that was launched last year on May 6th in China the company also confirmed that the phone will support a 65 watt super flash charge comparing to 30 watt in the previous phone the image of the phone has appeared on jd.com with the left side punch hole screen and should be have a full HD plus AMOLED panel with the in display fingerprint sensor Oppo Enco Air True Wireless earbuds have been spotted on the NCC certification website. Each earbud will come with a 25 mAh battery and the case charges at 10 watt. Oppo Enco Air will be launched in China on May 6 alongside a fitness tracker. Indian IT services firm including Infosys, Wipro and Tech Mahindra are organizing vaccination camps on campuses across India to inoculate employees and their family members against COVID-19. And TCS is also planning to give COVID-19 vaccines to employees and their family members through direct partnership with suppliers. In view of recent government guidelines for the vaccinating everyone above the age of 18 years beginning May 1st. The Delhi High Court has quashed a petition by instant messaging application WhatsApp and its parent Facebook which challenged the Competition Commission of India's investigation against WhatsApp new privacy policy. The policy which has been deferred earlier and will come into force from May onwards is only for users of business services and WhatsApp and does not compromise with its end-to-end -end encryption. Poco M2 Reloaded has been launched in India. It has the same specifications as Poco M2. Poco M2 Reloaded go on sale from 3 p.m. on Flipkart. Realme will be announcing the Realme 8 5G headset in India today and the fresh information revealed that the company is planning to launch a new phone called the Realme X7 Max smartphone. It will be arriving as a third X7 series phone in India after the Realme X7 and Realme X7 Pro phones. The new leak reveals that Realme X7 Max will arrive in two models such as 8GB RAM and 128GB storage and 12GB RAM and 256GB storage in the country. It could be available in color variants such as Mercury Silver as Stride Black and Milky Way. Like Google Assistant, Realme is also coming up with the Realme Assistant, and it is revealed by Madhav Seth on Twitter. Samsung is working on its new smartphone, which is now listing on Tina with the model number SME5260 in China. That shows the design of the phone and some key specifications. This is Galaxy F52 5G smartphone that was listing on Bluetooth SIG. The image shows a quad rear camera setup with a 64 megapixel primary camera and has a punch hole camera on the right side. In a move to expand its smartphone presence in the Indian market, Samsung has begun the production of OLED panels as of this month at its Noida plant in India through its display unit. Sony India has a new 4K TV in India, the Sony Bravia X75. The latest sits at the entry segment of Sony critically acclaimed 4K TVs in India, with prices ranging from 59,990. The Bravia X75 comes to India in two screen sizes, with a 43-inch variant and a 50-inch variant. The 43-inch Bravia X75 costs you around 59,990 Indian rupees, while the 50-inch TV is priced at rupees 72,990 Indian rupees. IQ7 Legend has been spotted on the Google Pay console website. The listing reveals it comes with a Snapdragon 888 processor, 12 GB of RAM, Android 11 as its OS, and full HD Plus display. IQ7 Series India launch date is on April 26th. 
Ola Electric on Thursday announced its plan to set up a 100,000 strong network of electric vehicle chargers which it is calling hypercharger network across 400 cities in India over the next 5 years. The company said that it will install 500 chargers in the current financial year including a few hundred chargers ahead of the launch of its first electric vehicle two wheeler which is due to go on sale on July this year when complete the company claimed that it will be the largest electric vehicle two wheeler charging network in the world. HTC has been struggling financially lately but that's not slowing the company down. According to a piece of World's Design Guide, HTC has developed a Vive VR headset. Dubbed the HTC Vive Air, this headset has a focus on health and fitness. HMD Global's Nokia X20 becomes the latest smartphones to not to come with a charger in the box. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.